further wander you to a pregame I'm not invited to? Well, the king doth keep his revels here tonight. Take heed you not come within his sight, for Oberon is passing fell and wrath, because he and the queen tomorrow hath an interview with a great company. They're vying for just one position. And jealous Oberon would have the job, but the queen perforce is more qualified. Now don't mistake my shape and making quite. I am a shrewd and knavish sprite, that merry wanderer of the night called Robin Goodfellow, or Puck, if you'd like. I just to Oberon and make him smile and cause mischief on campus all the while. But room, fairy, here comes Oberon. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What, jealous Oberon? Fairy, skip hints. I have forsworn his bed and company. <laughs> Terry, rash wanton, am not I thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. But I know this meeting's to distract me from my phone. You hope I'll miss my interview and you'll increase your chance to land the job. How canst thou thus for shame, Titania, accuse me of this horrid half brain plot? These are the forgeries of jealousy. I don't want to see you. Don't come near me. How long within this wood intend you stay? Perchance till after Theseus's formal day. If you will patiently dance in our round and join our moonlight revels, go with us. If not, shun me and I will spare your haunts. Give me that job and I will go with thee. Not for thy fairy kingdom. Fairies, away. We will chide down right if I any longer stay. We'll go thy way. Thou shalt not from this grove till I torment thee for this injury. My gentle puck, come in oh, hither. Thou rememberest once I spent the most sixth semester abroad. I remember. My time there I saw this little flower. The scent of it laid will make any person, man or woman, madly dote upon the next thing that it sees. Fetch me this herb and be thou here again, ere the D1 athletes swim a league. I'll put a girdle round about the earth in forty minutes. Having once this flower, I'll drop the liquor of it in her eyes. And the next thing then she waking looks upon, be it frat star or hipster, nerd or dean, prospective student or rogue campus squirrel, she will pursue with the soul of love. And I'll remove this charm from her sight, as if any other herb, and I'll make her render up her phone to me. Let me go. But who comes here? I am invisible, and I will overhear their conference. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. Where is Lysander and fair Hermia? The one I'll slay, and the other slayeth me. That told me they were stolen onto this woods. You draw me, you hard-hearted adamant, and yet you draw none iron, for my heart is true as steel. I leave you your power to draw, and I shall have no power to follow you. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or do I not in the plainest truth tell you that I do not, nor I cannot love you? Even for that do I love you the more. I am sick when I do look on thee. And I am sick when I look not on thee. I will not stay thy questions. Let me go. We cannot fight for love as men may do. We should be wooed, and we're not made to woo. I'll follow thee and make a heaven of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Fare thee well, nymph, ere he do leave this grove. Thou shalt fly him, and he shall seek thy love. Welcome, wanderer. Hast thou the flower there? Aye, there it is. I pray thee, give it me. With the juice of this, I'll streak Titania's eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Take thou some of it, and seek through this grove. A sweet Nashvillian lady is in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his lapel, but do it so the next thing he espies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Greek letters he hath on. Fear not, my lord, your servant shall be so. 